the greatest thing about standard space grading is that it's exactly that. We can take a look at the standard um, and what it says that every ELA student should be able to do when it comes to comprehension strategies, when it comes to understanding character or understanding theme um, or understanding the you know elements of, of story or, or nonfiction. And we can um, use video to see if they can perform at that standards level, um, just as easy as we can use um, pieces of text. So if you're trying to get kids to practice the standard um, and you know that they don't read at the grade level um, in which uh, they could practice that standard, that their text is too simple or, um, or, or doesn't have enough detail for them to try to do the standard in the depth that it takes for, let's say, an eighth grader or a 10th grader to, to, to do that standard. Um, using video can really help, um, help you do that. So um, I am attaching a Padlet full of video to the newsletter um, today, and you'll see that there is just a collection of video shorts here. It, it is constantly growing. Um, if you have some that you use in class, I would love for you to send it to me. The thing I want to caution you about is that it's all grade level, so be sure you watch the video before you um, use it in your class. Um, and, and, and the great thing about video is not only can our inclusion students um, be practicing grade level standards by watching the video, but you could also be, show uh, videos to, to model the standard. It doesn't always have to be on a text. Um, so uh, this is a useful Padlet for you to have. There's so many things that you could do with it, but, but the way that I love to think about using it especially when it comes to um, our striving readers and our striving writers is to have them be able to watch this video and then try to either practice the standard that you're teaching um, or um, a, a, you be assessed on the standard that you have been teaching. And the idea of them not being able to read at that grade level doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't get in the way of them trying to see if they can practice the standard in a way that all eighth graders would or that all 10th graders would. Um, and we've been talking about Padlet a lot on this um, newsletter, so they certainly could um, respond um, you know, right underneath as a, as a comment, or they could make their own Padlet of responses. So they don't even have to be able to write at the grade level. Um, if they can speak uh, about the video, you could still measure whether or not they understand how to navigate that standard and whether the standard is mastered or not. So, so give it a try. And as usual, if you'd like help with this, I am always available, lfisher at gfsd.org.